All right, boys and girls, we are adding mixed numbers plus mixed numbers today. Uh, sometimes we are going to have to regroup our final answer because our final answer is going to give us an improper fraction. And so we're going to need to regroup, regroup it so that it is not an improper fraction or a mixed number with an improper fraction. So I'm going to go over this. Uh, so real quick, uh, again, when you're adding or subtracting fractions, please write them vertically. It makes it so much easier. Just it just does. All right, so we have, we're going to start off with our fraction side. We have 1 7th plus 1 half. Uh, as we can see that our 7 and our 2, they're not equals. The bottom number, they don't equal. We have to make them equal. So we have to skip count by 7s. We have to skip count by 2s and see what's the first number that appears in both of them. Well, if I count by 7s, I get 7, 14. If I count by twos, I get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 is the first number that appears in both of them. That is the least common multiple of 7 and 2. So we have to change them both into 14s so that we're dealing with the same thing. How do we multiply to get from 7 to 14? 7 times what is 14? Well, right here it tells you. It takes two of them. So 7 times 2 is 14. Now we have to multiply the top number times 2 because we did the bottom number times 2. So 1 times 2 is 2. So 1 7th turns into 2 14th. That's just an equivalent fraction, but we need it to be 14th because of this one. All right, we got to multiply the 2. 2 times what is 14? Well, if you don't know, count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 7 numbers up here. So we have to take 2 times 7. Well, if we take the bottom, 2 times 7 is 14. We have to do the same thing to the top, the numerator. 1 times 7 is 7. Now we add 14 plus 14. So we're still, still dealing with 14. 2 plus 7 is 9. So our answer to the fraction side is 9 14 Now we have to look at the whole number. Our whole number, we have 3 plus 2. What's 3 plus 2? 5. So our final answer is 5 and 9 14 Nothing too hard about this one. Uh, the following two, we're going to regroup. We'll see what that means. Uh, so on this one, we have 8 and 5 8 and 3 and 2 thirds. We're adding them together. Again, we have an 8 and we have a 3. We have to make them the same. We have to find the least common multiple. If we skip count by 8s, if we skip count by 3s, what is the first number that appears in both of them? Well, we do 8, 16, 24. We do 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. 24 is the least common multiple of 8 and 3. So we have to turn both of these into 24. How do we get from 8 to 24 by multiplying? 8 times what is 24? Well, look up here. It took 3 of them. 8 times 3 is 24. So we have to do the top number, 5 times 3. What is 5 times 3? 15. All right, same thing on the bottom. How do we get from 3 to 24 by multiplying? Well, if you don't know, count your numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's 8 of them. So we have to do 8 times 3, which is 24. Well, if we do it on the bottom, we have to do it on the top. What is 2 times 8? It's 16. So now we have to add. 24s plus 24s. Our bottom number is still going to be 24s. Now we have to do the top number, 15 plus 16. Some of y'all can't do that. That's OK. Write it down. What is 15 plus 16? Well, 5 plus 6. That's 11. Regroup my 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 31. So we have 31 over 24. Oh, that's top heavy. The top number is bigger than the bottom number. It is called an improper fraction. We need to fix that. We can't leave it improper. Now, because I'm out of room, I'm going to erase this part here. Again, this fraction lines means divided by. It is 31 divided by 24. 
When we do 31 divided by 24, how many times will 24 fit into 31? Well, the answer is 1. So we're going to put our 1 up here. We're going to subtract our 24. Uh, some of you all will want to regroup this. 11 minus 4 is 7. 2 minus 2 is 0. So we're left with 7. Again, we don't leave it as a remainder. We turn it into a fraction. So we're going to put our fraction bar here. We are still dealing with 24, so our bottom number is going to remain 24. The seven pieces left over that did not fit in a hole will go up top. So 31 over 24 is really the mixed number 1 and 7 24 We're not finished yet. We haven't added our whole numbers. So what is 8 plus 3? 8 plus 3 is 11. So we're really left with 11 plus our fraction, which is 1 and 7 24 Now we have to put them together. What is 11 plus 1? I'm going to write it in a different color so that you can see it. 11 plus 1 is 12, and 7 24 is our final answer. Make sure you all have written this down. So this is the last one we're going to do today. Uh, 9 and 11 twelfths plus 7 and 2 fifths. What I would like you to do, try it on your own. Hit pause real quick, get your final answer, then hit play and see if it's the same. All right, so the first thing we have to do, I'm going to go quick. We have to find the least common multiple of 12 and 24. 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 you count by fives, eventually you'll get to 60. So our least common multiple is 60. We have to turn them both into 60s. How do we get from 12 to 60? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 12 times 5. Well, we have to do the 11 times 5 too. 11 times 5 is 55. How do we get from 5 to 60? It is times 12. What is 12 times 2? We've got to do the top number. 12 times 2 is 24. So now we have to add these. 60s plus 60s is still 60. 55 plus 24, if you don't know it, write it down. 55 plus 24. 5 plus 4 is 9. 5 plus 2 is 7. It's 79. 79 over 60. Now that is an improper fraction. The, bigger, the top number is bigger than the bottom, so we need to divide. That means divide by that fraction line. So we need to do 79 divided by 60. How many times will 60 fit into 79? Just once. What are we left with? We're left with 19. We're still dealing with 60, so we put 60 on the bottom and 19 at the top. So this 79 over 60 is really 1 and 1960s. Now we have to do the whole numbers. What's 9 plus 7? 9 plus 7 is 16. So now we have to do 16 plus 1 and 1960s. Well, what's 16 plus 1? 16 plus 1 is 17 and 1960s. That is your final answer. Uh, I will be on my Google Meet. I can help you all with some of these. Uh, some of you all are not doing well. You're doing your problems and you're missing a bunch. And you don't get on the Google Meet so that I can help you. I can tell you the kids that are getting on, I spend maybe five to eight minutes with and they figure it out and they can do them. And then the next day they do pretty well. Those of you all that have not been doing well, the next day you do worse. Why? Because you haven't figured this part out. Uh, it takes you to get on that call so that I can help you. Make sure you do it. Good luck today.